welcome to Tough Souls 2018. Um, last year we did about 2,000 kilometers, and this year we're going to do another 2,000 kilometers. Um, and we're starting with the Schliegelthlick Muskri. This goes from Mill Street to Kilkill, just outside of Bantry in Cork. Um, and is, well, they say it's 50 kilometers, but we think it's much more like 70. So it's going to be between two and three days. There's a wind farm here, so we're, you know, about here somewhere. There's a wind farm. And I think that wind farm is that wind farm. So my understanding is that we're going to go kind of right behind this wind farm. You can kind of see where we're going to go from here all around that way. And now I'm tired. I knew we'd be unfit, but I think we also kind of, we picked a really steep one to start back on. So not only are we unfit, but we're also on one that would have given us trouble last year. Oh well. So I would like to say a huge thank you to Marcus Kavanagh, who supports us on Patreon. And without his support, this would be a lot harder. And without everybody's support, it would be incredibly hard so thank you so much Marcus and to all our supporters on Patreon it really means the world to us our first fruit kick of the second season of Tussles Calories. Well, we made it to Ballyburnie, which is the end of our first day. Uh, we are pretty wrecked. It is about half past six. So, we're gonna go eat some fruit. Put down our bags. Well, it's the morning of our second day. Uh, it is a bit foggy today, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Um, also, apparently the place that we finish is called Kekel, not Kill Kill. So, now, now we know. You'd think after living here for our entire lives we'd be able to finish the place names, but... So excited to bird song back. What are we saying? Um, you're talking about how which side is better? This side. But how the the snowy mountains behind you are what we came over yesterday and thank god that they're snowy today and not yesterday or something like that the snowy mountains behind me are what we came over yesterday and thank god that they're snowy today and not yesterday that sounds so stupid when you re repeat it word for word <laughs> you're so mean um so the snow behind us is exactly like those mountains are what we came over yesterday i am very glad that we came over them yesterday and not today because that looks cold. And it doesn't look like there's any snow ahead of us, which is also really good. So 
this worked out great. See, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. In just better words. It was really nice up until about now and uh, that is the direction we're going in and that weather is coming this way so I think there might not be too much footage for the next couple of hours because we might be drowning um, but this trail so far has been really really good and I'm very very happy that we're doing it <sighs> yeah it's great that, not, that maybe isn't going to be so good So the Schliegeltach Maskri is part of the Bear Brethny Way, which is a 900 km trail from the Bear, from the Bear Peninsula to Leitrim, all the way up the country. So back in 1601, Donald O'Sullivan Bear was ousted basically from his castle in the Bear Peninsula and decided to go the whole way to Leitrim, where his next available ally was, um, and he took a thousand people with him. So they walked. Over two weeks they walked from the Bear Peninsula to Leitrim, which is a long, long way. Uh, and this church is where he stayed his first night on that march. Uh, this is called Yacris Church, or Acris Church. Um, and yeah, this is the first place that he stayed. It was already a ruin when he stayed there 400 years ago. Uh, yeah, it's a, the Bear Brethren Way is really interesting. Uh, we'll be doing nearly all of it in parts as we go. It's raining now, so I'm gonna put my hat back on. Yesterday was day one of the trail and it starts off in Mill Street and we went along the same way as the Duhalla way um, for a few kilometres and then they split and it's not it's not marked where they they split so I was really glad that we were aware that when we hit the next section of road we would have to turn uh, left when the Jihala way went right because otherwise we would have completely missed it like nothing at all to let us know um, and then there's a long uphill climb if I remember sure, climb, well okay yeah not a long uphill climb a short uphill climb that felt like a long time <laughs> because I'm out of practice with uphill um, and we went through um, a wind farm and we really, like, it was beautiful sunshine and then five minutes later it would be hailstones and then we'd be back to sunshine and then it would be snow and then it would be rain, wind, we, like, it really played into the stereotype of every season in one day. Um, yeah. The way marking has been... Am um, a little hit or miss in one or two areas. I feel like it's um, way marked to walk in the other direction better than it is to walk the direction we're walking. Uh, so sometimes we'll come to a junction and there'll be an arrow clearly pointing back the way we've gone 
but nothing indicating our way forward. Um, but okay. also, um, there was an ultra marathon on the trail recently, uh, which has made some sections of the usual bogginess extra extra boggy. But it also means there's very well defined path that you're following, and I think because of that, there's been some extra trail like maintenance. So I think the extra trail maintenance outweighs the the couple of weeks of extra muddy ground. Um, yeah, some yeah, really really well churned mud. But yeah, it's been really, really great so far. I've really liked the quality of trail. Um, and I love the, the landscape here. It's really, like, lumpy. Um, really hills and mountains. Um, and I think because it's so rocky, the land isn't able to hold as much water as other places. So that's why there's been an abundance of rivers, um, which have been really beautiful. So we're approaching the end of our second day. Um, as we've been walking along this trail, the landscape has been getting more and more erratic. And this is kind of the cherry on top. It's just amazing. It's just such an incredible place. And the thing is, you can kind of see it from, you know, five or six kilometers back. So we've just been walking towards this place and being like, how tall is this? How incredible is this? Yeah, it just looks amazing. So this is Gugon Barra, this is where we're going to finish today. I'm pretty happy about that. My feet are kind of sore. see those mountains off in the distance, those two lumps that look very suspicious. We think that that's where the Duhallow Way ends, which means that we started just a little bit to the right of that. It looks pretty cool. And I think we can see the Kerry Way from here, and kind of over that would be the Dingle Way, which you can't really see. And Pantry Bay is just, just over a corner here. It's really cold. Snow is cold. Okay, straight section. Oh my god, my arms are still too short. So even though this has been um, like steep and wet and baggy and everything, 
it actually hasn't been as bad a climb as I expected. When you see it from the ground, it's like, oh my God, that's kind of steep looking, but it's been really approachable. Um, I don't know what else I'm saying. That's it really. It's beautiful. You look so fluffy. No problem. I'm an experienced talker. So this row of stunning stones is um, from a about 1500 BC, so about three and a half thousand years ago, and um, it's thought that this was to do with the the moon. So it's some sort of like ancient moon-related ritual, because it's lined up with where the moon rises once every 18.6 years. I didn't I didn't make that up. The sign says it. So maybe they stood here for 18.6 years and then put them this the stones up but I don't really understand how that would work. In any case it is really impressive looking and there were a lot of artifacts found here when they excavated it back in 1977 so something must have happened here. Okay there you go. So behind me is Karganas Castle, that's the end of the Stigathathnas Creek. Um, this castle was evacuated in 1602 and I know absolutely nothing else about it. Um, I'm sure we'll find out more when we get to it and read the info board. But uh, the Stigathathnas Creek was really good, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a bit more challenging, I think if you're an experienced hiker you'd like it. Um, but the landscape is really really good, no matter what, Like, so it kind of makes up for uh, all of the extremely muddy sections. We were also a little bit unlucky in that um, when we did this trail, we did it right after an ultramarathon went through it. So we had a lot of mud to contend with, but I would recommend packing gators no matter what. Um, I said no matter what, like three times in this video. What do you think, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah, I think this trail is a good eight and a half out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. I think it's only gonna get better. Um, I would definitely get down here and do it. That's all I got. <laughs>